Well, <laughs> we did our best. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> it was a fun day. Um, we started off. It was a long day. It was a long day. And we thought that your injury was recovered from Zorb soccer. It did. And it was not. Was not. So we started the day at 7.30 in the morning in the pool. In the swimming pool. For an advantage, for like a 10 minute advantage. Yeah. Which we didn't know at the time, but the advantage was they, whoever won, gets to go on the helicopter first. Because there was only enough room for yeah. one couple which on the helicopter. Which gets you to the next, challenge, you the next challenge faster. And yeah. we had to run from the swimming pool to the helicopter. And as soon as you took off. As soon as I pushed off from the pool. Immediately knew you were not healed. Shooting pain up my whole thigh. Yeah. Um, what you didn't see behind the scenes was while we're waiting for the helicopter, we get ace bandages. Yeah. I get to bandage you up, compress that muscle as much yeah. as possible. And then um, we knew there'd be a lot of running today. So I told you just adjust your gait, you know, run on your toes, yeah. run on your heel, whatever you can do to change it to make it feel better. Um, but we knew we were going to be a little slower today. Yeah. Uh, my foot was not 100% healed on either. Your toes. Yeah, for my toes, and so I thought I was going to be the slow one today. Yeah. But I didn't even have to push mine, so thank you. <laughs> so I just kind of ran it, for. ran at your pace. Yeah. But so we knew we weren't going to beat them on speed. We had to beat them on on smarts, on yeah. skills, and str and strategy. Yeah. Which was really good because once we got to Airstream, which we landed at Blue Compass, and the Airstream dealership. Yeah. Uh, the helicopter dropped us off there and we go there and the clue immediately clicked for us there yeah about the 360 the mm -hmm. airstream 360 because we're like that doesn't even make sense no there's no such thing so we went just straight inside and asked for help <laughs> and yeah apparently because jack and shelby came in mid uh video yeah. yeah so i don't know how long they were out looking for the airstream 360 on the lot yeah <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. But I think that's what happened to them because they were out there. So we caught up a little so bit we, more we time. So we caught up and they even, I think they went back in to get the first part of the video yeah. because there was there Clues. was details. That, in, in the scroll it said remember in bold. So I knew we were going to have to remember stuff, which Great I'm not injury. good at remembering stuff. <laughs> and they will, they take away your phone, they take away your, your, yeah. your stuff. So you can't write anything down. You can't, you know, type anything in your phone. Yeah. So... Um, we did good though in remembering yeah. stuff. Yeah, we did. We came out and we remembered stuff mm -hmm. and we got all the clues, got that scroll which told us to go with Phil and Stacy. And then it was kind of like a race through the city. <laughs> yeah. And you're at the mercy of I 4. I 4 traffic, like, jeez. <laughs> this isn't really a race. Uh, I, I could run faster <laughs> to the freaking place, but I didn't yeah. know where we were going. Only Stacy and Phil knew where we were going. Yeah. And they drop us off at this seaplane sea place, base. and I'm like, oh my god, they're going to put me in the again. air again? I just did a helicopter. Mm -hmm. I don't like flying. Yeah. You know? So I'm like, god dang it. Yeah. So, but I sucked it up, got in the airplane, flew, and then so we land, and you don't like being in the water, you don't... Ah. Can't see no, through. and I cannot allow my feet to touch oh, mossy grass. There grassy. was like seaweed stuff in there. Yeah. And so no. I was like, "All right, I'll get out, and you piggyback." <laughs> yes, I don't have over to walk to the, through the water. To the bank, which so we did that, and yeah. I was so happy to see the e-bikes. Yeah, I'm like, oh, we finally don't. Thank have to God, run. we don't gotta run anymore. <laughs> we were running all day. We probably ran. Well, I wasn't allowed to have my watch for most of the day, but I have seven thousand two hundred and fifty steps, and I was, and and they took our watch for most. We got of it. Yeah, eighty three seventy two. Yeah. So e bike, we get the scroll. We go over to the volleyball court. We all ran right past the salt. salt. Yeah. Because <laughs> it said something about whispers, and so you guys think in the stands. Yeah. So I'm like, well, stands. People whispering in the stands. Maybe they yeah. hid it under the bleachers. But nope. So I felt like we, we had a shot. We were yeah. neck and neck, even with your injury. Which was getting worse. Throughout the day. Actually, because trying to keep the weight off the left leg. Compensating. Putting it all on the right leg. Now I have <clears throat> complete foot strain. Heel pain. Yeah. So yeah. stepping on that foot 
is sending a yeah. pain through my foot, not up my leg, just the foot. But the, you were a trooper, dude. You didn't quit the whole freaking day. It hurts so bad. I can't yeah. feel them. But you did great. And I have a cold. Yeah, which I got <laughs> first. So it's like, good God, put me we, down. Just yep, put me down. We've had some adversity yeah. through this competition with stop. injuries. One more stop. One more stop. I can get through one more stop. We knew we, we were we were pulling into the we we're pulling into the stadium, and I was like, "This has got to be close to the end of this thing because we've been going all day. It's mm. starting to get dark. It's yeah. got to be close to the end." Mm. And I was like, "Oh, like please be close to the end, you know." And then yeah. when we get there, Todd's like, "This is it. This is the this end. Is this is the last winter take location." Off. And we took off, and we got our butt kicked instantly. Yeah, screeching brakes yeah the day came to a, an end right there for us on the first station in the stadium yeah we didn't get to do any of the um we talked to jack and shelby after and kind of figured out what else they had to do what was yeah the through rest there the so after the puzzle it was just basically going through finding the bleacher seat getting a, another ingredient going to see rob and then he's like, there's a couple ingredients missing. They had to go to another well, place. Well, you had all the ingredients. You just need a cup ice, of ice. Yeah. So you had to go to another the clubhouse. Place, to which, that would have been a lot of running, a lot of stairs. That would have been really tough. That would have. Yeah. But I would have liked to know if one of us could have ran up, got it, and come back down. Maybe we both didn't have to go. Yeah. I don't know. I would have liked had, I We'll never know. I would have at least liked to have had <laughs> the, opportunity. the opportunity to see. Yeah. But we couldn't get that. I mean, and we know there was. there's people in this season. There's a lot of people in this season that had limitations handicaps handicap disabilities and one of mine is my brain injury and so we knew that i mean and i've you know we fought through that this entire competition we've had a couple of times where we got past it and, yeah. and made it through and this one we just it just couldn't my brain couldn't yeah. process it these correctly. are the worst ones for you yeah those brain teasers and so i mean i was a little frustrated yeah um i was prepared for you to throw it no i was usually that's what happens yeah but like i that. You know, I knew that. I knew we were beat. Yeah. As soon as they took off after the puzzle, Absolutely. I knew we. Were, I knew. Oh we were yeah, beat. we were. There was no catching. And so from that point on, it was That's frustrating, and it was hard to keep. And the trying. instructions don't even match no, the item in front of you. They so don't it's like, match. What do you do? So, I was. Um, but I knew, you know, getting mad wasn't going to do anything. I knew, you know, freaking out wasn't going to do anything. Um, and we could hear the cheering. Cheer yeah, once they made it to the field. Once they made it to the field. And so we're That's still like, standing there at the blocks. So I was like, like, yeah, at this point, it's time to... Call it, Doc. Just, just call it. <laughs> Let's just go to the field and congratulate okay. Jack yeah. and Shelby. So that's what we did. Mm -hmm. And so we're happy for them. Yeah. If anybody else was going to win it, we wanted it to be Jack and Shelby because they're going to do some really cool stuff with the money. I mean, they were going to be hard to beat. They were. In full... Yeah. 100% mode. Yeah. Healthy. But man... So. The opportunity to be here was great. Yeah. The opportunity to tell our story. Yeah. We've never told our story on camera before. No. Um, RV Unplugged gave us the platform to be able to do that. Yeah. We're so thankful for Stacy. Mm -hmm. She was a great coach. She was awesome. Um, we had some great teammates we couldn't win it on the red team. Yeah. Um, so now Phil and Stacy are tied one to one. Oh, so we'll get the tiebreaker in season, season three, three. Yeah. I guess. And. Um, Man, it was just a blast, and it was awesome. Uh, we will never do it again. Absolutely not. <laughs> never again. Well, that's the morning after. How you feeling? Like shit. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you can barely walk. You can barely walk. Um, if there had been one more day of the competition, we would have had to self-eliminate. Yeah. We wouldn't even be able to do it. No. Because you can barely walk. I can't walk on my foot. <clears throat> Uh, last night, after we recorded the clip last night, I came, I went onto YouTube. Yeah. To look at the cube thing, to see if I could see how to do the the wooden cube thing. Yeah. Nope. We'd still be standing there right now. Yeah. Even if they would have let me watch that YouTube video and follow along, it still would have taken us Longer. probably twenty still, minutes. Yeah. Because I would have had to watch that thing over and over oh, again. Yeah. It is so complicated. It's not, yeah. And it's not anything like the instructions said no. from what I saw. And the video too. shows it starting from the opposite side of yeah. the instructions. Said. So we were watching it last night like, uh, uh, no. yeah, we would have never got that. No. So it's, um, it's good that we didn't have to run anymore. 
Yeah. But it's a little frustrating that the entire game at the end hinged on a brain, a brain game yeah. that was for for me it was impossible. I would have never yeah. I would never got it. So uh, yeah, that sucks. Yeah. Would like I would have liked to at least had a shot at it. Yeah. <laughs> if it, if they would have come in and just done some you know riddles to get to the things and had let it be like raced, the rest of the day was like the rest the whole rest of the day. There's no puzzles. There's no the whole rest of the day was riddles. Then we yeah. get there and there's this puzzle, like just randomly, just a random puzzle. Didn't see how it really fit in. I don't see how it fit in the day either. I don't know why it wasn't just riddles and we just raced to get to to, you know. Yeah. Because that that one thing really, whoever got that. Was well, gonna win. Yeah. Whoever got that first is gonna win, yeah. no matter what. So, I think that it would have been a better uh, ending. I think it would have been more. I think we would still lost. We would have still lost. I think we would have still lost. So I'm not salty about that because no. we were hurt. But I would have liked to have at least made it look more competitive at the end. Yeah. So if they would have just had riddles, they would have definitely outran us between the stations, yeah, and just... that's how they would have beat us. But I would rather got beat that way. Yeah. Exactly. Than to be just standing there at this puzzle. And be like, like I, I can't do it so i don't know maybe that uh maybe that's a lesson learned for rb unplug next next season maybe they won't have something that's gonna totally just wipe one team out i doubt it potentially but anyway um just wanted to give you our thoughts it's this like morning part of the game. morning after it but is part of the game but you know that there was a theme of the day there was and that had nothing to do with it no i just don't know where that puzzle fit fit in the storyline of the day yeah yeah it just seemed randomly placed, so I don't know. I don't know. This is crazy, man. This is uh, this is where we used to live. This was the red team was over here, and the blue team was over there. And Leslie is now reminiscing. This is uh, the set. Some of the set is, is still here. The sand is still here. Right over here is where Leslie found the, the park pass. Out here on the benches is where we sat for eliminations. Of course, the Valor is gone now. The laundry room is gone now. But um, it's really cool to come back a couple days later and still see the stuff set up. You can still see the RV Unplugged logos on the benches. This was our bench. That was our bench, the first bench. We sat back here like one time, but for the most part, that's where we sat. and. There was a lot of emotion going on right there in the final four when we found out we were going to the finale. Now the no more no more tiki torches. The path to the laundry room is cleared. You know, it's where it sat right there. And uh, over here, over here somewhere is where Leslie found the park pass. Wasn't it? I think some rocks have been moved. They've been moved around and stuff. It should be right here. Right over here somewhere? Yeah. Well, this is the general area where she found the park pass. And eh, we never ended up even having to use it. <laughs> nope. Thank God. We've had a few days to reflect now on how it all played out. Yeah. Your legs healing a little bit. Yes, it's feeling better today. Able to walk around. Um, but even though we lost, yeah, I wasn't super excited about the way we went out. No. I wasn't either. But at least we got to do everything. We got to be in the finale. Yeah. Only two teams made it as far as we made it. So yeah. it was uh, definitely an honor to be one of those two teams. Yes. And um, congratulations to Jack and Shelby. You guys yeah. played a hell of a game and yeah. truly deserved to win. Absolutely deserved it. Yeah. We, uh, we didn't have much for you at the end there. No. I wish we could have been a little more competitive. It <laughs> gave you a little bit yeah. stronger of a run. But but like we both knew, even if we would have got past that puzzle, the running yeah. was not going to be possible. And we both had to complete. Yeah. We knew going into the, actually the first, right after we finished the pool yeah. and took off running for the helicopter, we kind of knew we were, we were playing at a disadvantage. A huge disadvantage. I felt we were going into it with a disadvantage to begin yeah. with, and that just added to it. Yeah, but it was so fun. It was fun. It was a great experience, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Our kids are going to get to watch this. Our parents are going to get to watch this. Our grandkid, Crazy. when she gets old enough, is going to be able to watch yeah. this. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I think that it's... Uh, I will look back on this, and I think we will 
watch it again years from now and smile yeah and have good memories but if anybody asks if i would do another one or do it all over again absolutely no. <laughs> not <laughs> this was a one and done thing for us yeah been there done that good to go yeah at least we did something like that. Even standing here and looking at the set, uh, only a couple days later, it feels like it's been a long, a long time, time since since the end, since yeah. the finale. I mean, the days just felt so Before. long during production. I mean, you look back from the finale to day one, and you're like, it felt like a month ago, but it really was only it's like 10, 11 10 days. days. <laughs> and uh, it just it just takes it out of you, man. Where's your dad? Physically, mentally, emotionally, emotionally, and just long hours, long days. Um, we played hurt almost the whole time. Yeah. I hurt my foot early. Yeah. I got a cold. Yeah. And you got hurt in Zorb Soccer. And then yeah. you were still hurt that, on the finale. Yeah. I was still hurt on the finale. Um, yeah. But we overcame a lot. Yeah. We got a lot farther than I thought we would ever get. We man. got way farther than we yeah. ever imagined we would. And uh, we can't thank you enough for all the support. Yeah, sorry we couldn't win All the it. Go Team Wags, it really boosts our spirit, and we had a great time. Yeah. And I can't wait to watch it. Yes, seeing it put together is going to be phenomenal. <clears throat> yeah. Because you try to envision when they're doing all these different angles and shots yeah. and say, okay, now do it again, and I'm going to just yeah. go on the other side of you. And, get, and you're like, really? Does that make yeah. the difference? But it is going to make the difference. Yeah. And there's probably going to be some people who question the way we played the game, but we just felt like that's the way we needed to play it. And, and again, we accidentally, accidentally played had some the game. success, too. So, Lots of luck, yeah, which we knew we would have to have. And yeah. things just kind of fell our way. So we're fortunate to have been in the finale, mm -hmm. and we're glad that we got to participate in everything. Yes. Yeah. All right, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. We're out of here. <laughs>